Yeah, I suppose that's probably the, the tricky thing, but um, obviously we've just got a strong focus on making sure that we get our training and stuff right. And um, there's still a really good feeling around the group, and I suppose you've got to look at ways to, to do things a little bit differently and keep the, the group fresh and vibrant. So um, whether it be a, be a beach session or something like that, just to, to get, out of the, get out of the footy club and, and just do something different. Do you sort of feel like you're going through this again, Tom? Like you've been here five or six years now, and it seems like this is your second or third time you're rebuilding or you know struggling your way through the season. Yeah, I think so, but I think um, this time, like you can really see it, and you can see what we're building towards. I think um, we've had opportunities in the past, and we probably haven't done it, but you can see Leper's intention is two, two, three years down the track. It's not not right now, and there is no quick fix to it. And we're all learning a new game plan, and, and we want to improve. So um, it, it has been obviously quite difficult at times to go through it but um, I think we've finally got it right and we're moving in the right direction. What's his move? Yeah he's pretty good he's um, obviously first year coach and um, he's pretty pretty relaxed he, he, he knows where the, the group's at he's, he's stayed um, very level headed throughout throughout the whole th whole situation he's really good at explaining situations and so on he, he doesn't sort of lose a plot and he knows that we're, we're quite immature as a group and um, obviously he, he wants to see the effort like we did on the weekend obviously we've let ourselves down for periods um, throughout the year with, with our effort and the way we played against Essendon for four quarters was really good and we just couldn't get that final kick inside 50 going in the last quarter and um, in the last minute and a half if that free kick sort of if it got pulled back we, it might have been a different result and we could be sitting here on two wins but um, he's been really good for the for the playing group and his teaching his teaching skills are outstanding. Is there a point where, you know, after losses, coaches always say, well, we learn a little bit out of that, we learn a bit out of this, we'll get better. But is there a point where losses start to leave scars, especially for younger players? Um, yeah, it's probably a good question. I'd say it, it, um, it, it probably will um, at some stage. But at the moment, those boys are really just enjoying their opportunities of getting to play senior footy. Obviously, um, they probably wouldn't be if, if we were a, a better team. They'd be earning their stripes in the reserves. But the good thing is now we're sort of seven, eight weeks in, you can see real improvement out of them. And I think you guys can see that as well. I think um, you can see the groups moving forward where we're starting to play a little bit better footy week in, week out. And um, obviously, it's it's always the well, way in footy you say well, we're improving week in, week out. We see positives, but that they are the actual facts for us. And the, the younger boys have been and probably some of our better players throughout the season. And can can the young players um, have an effect on the mood of a group because they just come in and we saw it down the Suns for a few years. They were just stoked to be playing AFL, and the, not, not that the losses didn't hurt, but they didn't carry baggage. Do they? Can they sort of be a breath of fresh air for yeah. older blokes who've sort of you know done the lap of the kitchen a few times? Yeah, definitely. I think um, at times you can get a little bit stale, especially when you've been here five or six years and um, even longer for other blokes and you're not winning games. But for those boys to be vibrant on the track and um, they move on pretty quick and um, it's a new generation, that's for sure. They Not much seems to phase them and they've been really good for us and they, they have brought a breath of fresh air for us. I think um, CMA's and his group that came through together and now the first year boys that this year have, have been really good for, for our group. Is it those first year guys that give you the confidence that this time is different to two years ago, three years ago, four years ago? Yeah, I think it, I think it's across the board. I think the the blokes that have come in are really starting to play their role, and I think Greeny's starting to really really start to um, see what he can do as a small forward. Zorks has been outstanding. Obviously, got a heavy tag on the weekend from Hocking, so they obviously see him as a threat. And um, Louis Taylor's starting to fill that role. Aishi as well. Um, Tom Cutler's been really good. Darcy Gardner's starting to play some um, really good, hard, tough defence. And I think you're seeing from an opposition player's comments after the game that, that that's what you want to be known as, especially as a defender. You, you want um, opposition forwards to say things like that about you and that's that's a credit to Darcy and how hard he, he makes it for his opponent. You reset the goals after the weekend, I mean and, and the you know the I don't know, just the strength of the performance after the weekend? Yeah it was good. I think you obviously look at um, where we our start to the season, I think we pr probably played our two best games of footy round one and two and we ran into Hawthorne and Geelong who were pretty good outfits. So um, th then we sort of had a little low patch where the effort probably wasn't there f consistently across the board. But um, when you see the effort that we put out on the weekend, I think you can see we are moving in the right direction and that's that's got to be the minimum now and we've got to ex come to expect that from everyone and, and each other from here on in.